Hi everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me for another weekly stock update. I did not put a video up yesterday because I actually sourced a bit and I got a lot of wonderful uh, Stampin' Up! sets, some with dies, coming up. Um, I'm listing those both today and tomorrow, so keep a lookout for those. And this week I listed kind of a bunch of smorgasbord um, type stuff. It's kind of a little bit of everything. So I'll take you guys through some of these. And also wanted to remind you, uh, for exclusive for my Facebook group, there is a 10% off coupon on there. And I always run a 10% off in the store. So with that extra 10% off, you're getting a 20% off discount in my store. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Any of you watching this on YouTube, uh, feel free to check out my store. There's a link in the description below. And also check out my, follow me on Facebook under One Stop Apothecary Shop to get that coupon. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first of all, I listed a few different lots of Tim Holtz ide ideology. Say that 10 times fast. This week, um, these are always really good sellers for me. I pretty much pick them up wherever I go. So I wanted to show you this lot. This lot has some frames, um, some tag rings. These are little tiny book rings that I thought were kind of cute and fun. Um, fascinators, I think these are kind of like mini brads is what they look like. And these are um, kind of cool, they almost look like screw heads. These would be neat kind of industrial like embellishments. There's uh, two packs of these guys. All right, let's see. Also on the Tim Holt side, I listed a lot of blending brushes. There are actually two in each pack, and these are great for ink blending as well as uh, stenciling. You can use them kind of like, a, I think they're called a stipple or stipple brush. So I have those in my personal collection. They work great. All right. Let's see what I have. This week, I put up a lot of uh, Pearl X pigment powders. These are very, very pretty. Some of these are about half used, and then some of them are barely used at all. And these are a lot of fun um, because they contain a mica pigment. Pigment, Excuse me. So again, if you're... Oh, I can't get these to stay. They're going to roll off. If you are a uh, shimmer lover, I actually show... I'm showing you one of my cards here. You can kind of see in the video how it sparkles and shines. And these are super easy to put on. And actually these would work really well with the blending brushes, but you basically use uh, Versamark watermark ink to create the stickiness. You use that on, on the stamp, you stamp it on the paper, and then you pour the mica on and then you use the brush to dab it in. And then you either seal it with some water spray or um, I think with this one, I actually used um, a different sealer, like a professional one but those get a little bit stinky. So I've heard water, water works well too. But yeah, wanted to show you a sample of that. I listed some paper tray ink sets. Actually, did I? Yeah, I did. I listed a couple this week, but I wanted to show you some of the Christmas ones I have because I have a lot of really, really great um, Christmas sets. In there that are still um, I've had them for a little while now and I do take uh, I do take some offers on older inventory as well so feel free to make me an offer on some things paper tray ink is a wonderful company they've been around for a lot of years they use very high quality uh, photopolymer so their stamps always stick and make great images so the first one I'm going to show you is called fawn and flora and this one actually comes with the matching die and I am actually sending out Christmas cards this year using this, not this exact set, but I do have this in my personal stash. So I wanted to show you the really pretty Christmas card I made. And then I don't know if anyone wants to know, but the rest, so that this is the deer and the, the headdress are from the set. And then the other elements are from a company called The Greetery. And uh, the, the one who runs The Greetery actually used to work for Paper Train. Fun fact. All right, I'm going to show you a few of my other Christmas paper training sets. 
This one's Come Ollie Faithful. And this one's super cute. It's a doggy set. I don't have the dies for this. Um, but I'm wondering too, because there's like an angel image here, if you can use these kind of like a sympathy card maybe for doggos. But yeah, I love this one because it's got the wiener dog and weenies are close to my heart. But yeah, you can dress them up. They have some clothes and you can give them little reindeer, reindeer antlers. So that one can be fun for any of you dog lovers. All right, next one is Holiday Greens Borders. I also have this one in my personal stash, but I haven't stamped anything out with to show you. Um, actually, I have, but I don't have anything in stock to show you. I've used the pines before, and they're super detailed and very, very uh, pretty. And these also come out with matching dies. So you can cut them out. And one that kind of matches this one, this one's called Holiday Greens. And also, again, these are great photopolymer stamps. And this kind of shows you the size of the image. These are pretty small on the cover, but the dies cut out the matching images, so they are quite a bit larger. Okay. And I do have other paper training stamps, too. I actually have two bins full. So feel free to check out my older stock that I have on those. There's some really pretty florals um, in there, um, some greeting sets, just a bunch of different things. This one's called Very Merry. This one is called Christmas Faith. Very pretty dove set. This one is one of those greeting sets I was talking about. This one I also am putting in the die. The, well, they don't match, but I thought these would go really well together. Let it snow, holiday, and Christmas. There's those ones. And let me bring in my foam for the next one so it's easier to see. These I'm listing as a lot. These ones, this is the first set. This one's called Holiday Treats. These would be great um, for any of you that make candy favors or cookie favors. Um, little gifts to give to friends over the holidays. And this one is called Tiny Treats Christmas. Same kind of idea here. So yeah, this one comes with little images and little sayings and you can put them on the tag and cut that out. It'd be very easy to cut those out. Okay, I think that is all of my paper tray ink for now. Let me see. While we're on the Christmas bandwagon here, let's do Whipper Snapper is up next. I've got a lot of Whipper Snapper, especially in my bins to list. These guys I thought were seriously adorable. These guys are little Christmas penguins. My favorites, the little sled guys. Whipper Snapper makes um, good quality wood stamps and they make a lot of really cute cartoon kind of critters. So I put those ones up. I got a really cute snowman I put up. And for any of you owl fans, got the hoots. I thought these guys were adorable. Okay, that's Whipper Snapper. And this week I put up three more lots of Winnie the Pooh stamps. I have a lot of Super cute, cartoony type images. Here, let me, oh, I can zoom in. Hey, that's fun. So yeah, this one's a Christmas set. I wanna say I have four or five lots of the Pooh stamps in my store. I also have some Mickey. Um, I had some Toy Story ones, but they actually just sold last night. Um, but yeah, feel free to check out my cartoon stamps. I think I have it as a separate category under one of my store headings. So you can see all that I have available. I think I even have a uh, Bart Simpson. <laughs> set which is kind of fun all right here Lawrence is next this one I had to show because I got a big kick out of actually both of these these if you like snarky stamps these ones would be great for Christmas I my favorites the elf I just think I just think they're just so funny this one Merry Christmas you filthy animal I remember seeing that line in home alone um let's be yeah <laughs> you're on the naughty list just a lot, a lot of, a lot of fun little things with this one. Those ones are four by six. Let's 
see. This one I thought was really cool because I art journal and I like collage mixed media type stamps. This one's huge. Here's my hand. I don't know if you could tell it's like the size of my hand. Um, yeah, this one would be fun to make kind of like paper dolls and uh, just kind of a nice, good quality. Um, I think I put it under Stamper's Anonymous Clown and uh, he's also under Jester. If you want to search for that one. All right, put a lot of Marthas up this week. I got a lot of Marthas. I really like the Martha stamps or punches that have images on them. So there's a few different ones that I put up this week. I thought maybe it'd be kind of fun to punch one of these for you guys so you could see how, how they punch. These ones are awesome. They usually typically punch like butter. They work really, really well. So, and they're all, so yeah, this is basically, little thing off that is how they punch super cute and if you want if you match up here let me see if I can zoom in again if you match up the letters to the border check this out you can make a continuous line Whoop. of joy 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 Whoop, sorry <laughs> Maybe it'd be good if you could see. I screwed up a little bit there, but I'm doing this kind of from higher. But yeah, you'd be fine doing that at home. Okay, there's the punches. Let's see, what else do we got? Let's do these next. I picked up a lot of, well, that's not as much fun. Let me see, you don't want to stare at the tops. Distress Mica Sprays. Again, this glittery girl loves all of these shimmery shiny products these are different from the stains and the ink sprays um, they do go on like ink and stain sprays but they have mica in them so they are shimmery shiny so I actually took my own personal samples not of these because most of these are new um, but I have these in my stash so I want to show you the colors so this one is snow flurries here's that one this one is Winterberry, which I thought was kind of cool because it's got like flecks of gold in it. Let's see, this one is Holly Branch, kind of like a nice olivey green. This one is Brush Pewter. This one is, I think, yep, Antique Bronze. And this one is Tarnish Brass. So that, these are the samples for that lot. The samples won't come with the listing because they're from my, <laughs> my personal staff. I got to keep those because they come in handy for me. And these are all one ounce bottles. And most of them are sealed. All right. I also put up some more Distress Oxide ink sprays. There's so many different techniques you can do with these. I encourage you guys, if you're interested in these at all, to YouTube some of the techniques with both the ink pads and the sprays because they are fabulous and I own all of them because I love them so much um but yeah I have quite a few lots still of the distress ink sprays I want to say I had 10 lots up I probably sold maybe half but there's some different colors and things still in my store and let's see last but not least I'm just showing you some cute stamps of life cardstock that I that I put up this week. These are six by six, and these two are cutesy tropical summer theme. I'll just show you how cute these were. Little boats. Let's see. Oh, these guys. I want to show you these guys. I think they're so adorable. You can cut them out. And then there's patterned paper with them. And for these guys, there's cute sunglasses, some florals. So yeah, just a bunch of different fun things this one is a fiesta so it's got pinatas kind of like party party type theme cactuses yeah super cute i do have tons of stamps of life stamps and dies in my stash um or not in my staff in my stash that's my personal stash um in my store so feel free to check those out and remember once again there is a 10 percent extra off coupon 
and I think it's good <laughs> through December 4th. I was only going to make it good for a week, but it says December 4th. So I'm like, okay, let's just roll with it. So it's going to be available for a while for you guys. And I hope you're having a fabulous week and I hope everyone has a good weekend. I am sourcing up in Lacey, Washington this weekend on Saturday. So I anticipate some really good stuff coming into the store next week as well as I'm going to be listing a bunch of Stampin' Up! stuff. Um, I think I should have a bunch of the stamps and die sets up uh, by tomorrow. So feel free to check that out. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Have a great week. Take care.